like you seriously changed my life. Um, five years ago, I was, I felt like an old lady. Like my, my hip was completely locked up. I had no movement in it. Um, even driving the car was miserable. Um, it, it just a pain free life. And it's, it's amazing. I, I can't thank you enough. It's awesome. Super cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to talking with you because periodically, every, every once in a while, I receive a DM or an email from you. And it's always like super like enthusiastic and like appreciative. And I'm like, it always puts a huge smile on my face when I receive a message from you. So I'm looking forward to hearing the story directly from you. So I, yeah. guess, I guess with that, I'll, I'll just hand you the mic and, and you can sort of share your five to 10 minute version of what you were dealing with that led you to find me in the first place. And then how got ROM, my videos, my programs or whatever have helped you. So take it away. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, honestly, I'm so excited to be talking to you because like you seriously changed my life. Um, five years ago, I was, I felt like an old lady. Like my, my hip was completely locked up. I had no movement in it. Um, even driving the car was miserable. Um, and I had no answers from doctors. You know, they wanted to operate on me. And, you know, I seriously considered it and, then I just like started thinking like, wait, is this really, do I really want to have this like be non weight bearing for six months, you know, and I was at the time and still am working in a garden center. So like, you know, being off my feet, it wasn't really an option for me. Um, so I don't know. I just, I really started, it really started my personal journey. And then I found you and I don't know, you just, the way you would breathe into stretches and hold it, I really, I really like clung to that. And I started spending just hours doing your, you know, FAI fix program like every day. And, you know, it took me at least six months to see a, a breakthrough really in my hip to see more mobility. But once I started seeing it, I craved it. I craved the tissue work and the stretching and, you know, um, and I think figuring out some of the key things that work for me and the stretches to open up my hips personally um, were like, I would do the tissue work with the softball, the adductors, and then, um, yeah, I would do tissue work and then go into stretches. And I do that every day now. And it's just a pain-free life. And it's, it's amazing. I, I can't thank you enough. Um, and I seek more every day now, just within my body and my soul. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's incredible. That's awesome. That's super rad. Yeah. So you, so you never ended up getting any kind of surgery. Did you do any physical therapy or try anything else or did you just kind of handle it all on your own? Well, yeah, I mean, I, that's, you know, I, I started seeking a lot of things cause I did have a lot of, um, you know, things within my body that were wrong. You know, I had the FAI hip impingement with a labral tear. Um, and then also I recently found out um, my er like upper sub cervical, um, I, it's the Atlas was off for mm -hmm. a long time. Um, mm -hmm. because when I was younger, I got hit by a car on my bike mm -hmm. and, you know, I didn't have broken bones at the time. So they never took me to the hospital. Um, but I think over time, my body just paid its dues. I, I put in enough you know, time hurting it, that it was like, yo, you got to do something about this finally, you know? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, finding you and then seeing where you started your journey and you just, you search for other gurus and other people and what were they doing with their body that maybe modern medicine that we've been told about the way we should treat our bodies, you know, like, um, if one thing's wrong with your hip, is it really just the hip that's the problem and should we cut on your hip and fix it? You know, would that really fix the problem? And I think your, your personal search for answers just made me hungry for answers too, you know? So 
and personal health is everything it's everything exactly yeah as soon yeah. as and you only really start appreciating it once you don't have it once you can't garden yeah. or you can't play your sport or you can't do your thing whatever that is once that goes uh, it lights a fire under your butt to uh, really get interested in all the different ways that you can take care of your body. I'm curious, was there anything else for you, a, a sport that you played or other activities that you couldn't do that you now can do after you've been working on your hips with the FAI Fix program or, or other of our videos? Yeah, I mean, my mobility was was absolutely terrible. I mean, you you could say that every joint I had was probably like a stick. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Um, I just, I had a lot of damage within my body. And once I started releasing the tissue, like it, it just, it, my muscles started expanding. So like, you know, I had muscles I didn't have before, like my leg muscles started forming and, you know, it was really cool to watch my body like transform through the years, through your program. And, you know, like my shoulder would start hurting and I would be like, okay, what's, what's Shane doing for his body? Uh -huh. to problems or one so it's awesome nice. nice that's one of the side perks that i've noticed of getting really interested in learning how to heal and fix a certain part of your body like your hips you can then apply those same principles to other joints or parts of your body that break down or are experiencing a little pain because all of us experience pain as we get older it's like no one gets older and starts feeling better and better and better as they get older unless you maybe start learning some of this stuff but it's cool because it gives yeah. you a set of tools where you don't have to feel um, like a victim or like you don't have control over pain when it arises. It's like you now have a toolkit of things that you can do that you learn from working on one particular area of your body, but the principles apply to neck pain, shoulder pain, back pain, whatever. So that's cool that you notice that some of the skills you develop working on your hips apply also to your shoulders and other areas. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, the biggest thing was, I think, what you pointed out too about the inner IQ of just being inside your body and just start to visually see what's going on in there, it, it changes everything to your, your daily view of life. And um, yeah, I don't know, I really like what you said about inner IQ with opening up with tissue work and stretching and, and I just yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's kind of like developing an inner awareness helps you to know what your body needs. It's I, I used to think about it like my body is, your body is speaking to you, Shane. You just need to learn how to listen better. You need to learn how to develop that inner yeah. IQ, that inner awareness so that you can give it what it needs because it knows what it's need. There's this innate intelligence in the body. And if you massage your body regularly, stretch it regularly and strengthen it regularly, your inner IQ is going to get boosted way, way up and you'll be much more intelligent and be able to heal pains and injuries when they arise a lot quicker. So yeah, I like, I like that one too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, but you just, you created a program that made it so easy to just do and just open everything up that it just, I don't know, it was so simple, but so good. It just, I really... It's a really good program. Nice. Really good program. Nice. Thank you. And I think yeah. you also, you also, yeah. I think you tried the hip stick tool that I, that I made that, uh, for your adductors. Did you? Yeah. Try well? It's so good. Yeah. I love the hip stick. And like, honestly, my friends take pictures of me doing the weird stuff with the hip stick and I'm like, I don't care, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, one of the last things would be if you could say anything to someone who's similar to you and dealing with hip problems like you dealt with, what would you recommend? What were your top takeaways, your top recommendations that you could give to someone who's like you dealing with the same or similar problems that you had? Um, that it's not going to come at once, but to not give up and some days you're going to feel really good. And some days you're going to feel like you lost everything, but to just keep moving forward, because if you never give up and you just always listen to yourself, you will start to see yourself transform. It does work. Like I just, I can't express it enough how good I feel and how much power you've given me and, and to just stick with it truly. But 
it's going to take time and hard work, but just stay dedicated and it'll work. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. I think that's a good note to leave it on. So I yeah. thank you so much for taking the time to share your story with people and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. All right. Take care. Mm-hmm.